Hello everyone, my name is Shu Jin Zhang, and today I'd like to talk about on transforming cut and quantify free cyclic proofs into right induction proofs, which was joint work with Naoki Nishida. First, about the background, right induction is a method to prove equations to be inductive theorems of a given right system R. Also, the cyclic proof systems are the method to construct the finite proofs of sequence with respect to the first order languages with uh, the inductive predicates defined by the inductive definition set phi. So we think that the writing induction proofs and the cyclic proofs whose system is terminating are very similar. So here is the question. How writing induction and cyclic proof systems differ regarding the terminating systems? To solve this research problem, we would like to compare writing induction and cyclic proof systems. To approach to the comparison is transforming the writing induction proofs and cyclic proofs into each other. First step is transforming the inductive definition set phi into TRSR. According to the research last year, under these four assumptions, um, which he said, uh, first is phi is GSC terminating, which means that the termination proved by the generalized term criterion and phi is orthogonal and there is no ordinary predicates in phi and for any production any variable in a1 to am appears in a so under these assumptions we transform inductive definition set phi into an equivalent trsr such that r is gsc terminating and confront and for the sequent is vivid with respect to phi if and only if the corresponding equation is an inductive theorem of r second and which is the main talk today is to transform a cyclic proof into an rewriting induction proof and finally we'll transform an rewriting induction proof into a cyclic proof as our future work so our purpose today is to show that for a terminating inductive definition set phi for a cyclic proof of a sequence, there exists an writing induction proof for the corresponding equation. By transforming the cyclic proof into an writing induction proof, and our result in this paper is that under the assumptions a one to a four showed in the previous page and other some new assumptions a5 to a10 on the next slide we transform the sequent calculus rules action or l and n r into right rules r scr such that an inductive theorem of r union r scr is also an inductive theorem of r also we will transform a cyclic proof of a sequence into an RI proof of the corresponding equation. Our result is based on this following theorem. The sequence is fitted with respect to phi if and only if the corresponding equation is an inductive theorem of R. And here is the assumptions A5 to A10 on inductive definition set phi and cyclic proof p. p is quantifier free and uh, cut free, and each inductive definition has at most one premises. That means m here is no more than one, and for any sequence gamma delta in p, 
the multi set gamma is empty or single term, and delta is single term. And P has no application of these rules. We, we still don't deal with them. And any component in P is the conclusion of an instance of the case rule, which corresponds to a case distinction depending on rules in phi. And now we want to briefly introduce the term right systems, right induction, inductive definition sets, and cyclic proofs. First, about term right systems and inductive theorems. Term right system is a set R of right rules L to R, and for the equation S equal T, uh, if all the ground substitution theta, we have S theta and uh, T theta can be rewrite into each other by R, we can say that the equation S equal T is an inductive theorem of R. That is, the equation is valid with respect to R. And here is an example that uh, R1 have two rewrite rules, and for the equation x plus 0 equals x, it is not a theorem of R1, but is an inductive theorem. And rewriting induction is a method of proving equations to be inductive theorem so far and it is consists of inference rules such as expandum, simplification and deletion and for the same example TRS R1 we want to prove the equation x plus 0 equals x and we use this inference rules to make the set be an empty set. Thus, we can say that the equation is an inductive theorem of R. And about inductive definition sets, phi is a finite set of productions like this form. Here, P, P1 to Pn, are the predicate symbols. As we have assumed the assumption A2, we don't deal with the ordinary predicates now. And P T theta is true if and only if P1 T1 theta to P N T N theta are true. Here, look at this example. Phi 1 is an inductive definition set and e s s zero is true in phi but o zero is false and e x or o x is fitted with respect to phi one about sequence and cyclic proofs this form is called sequent here gamma and delta are multi sets of formulas if all the formulas in gamma can make at least one formula in delta. This is fitted with respect to phi. Then we can say the sequence is fitted with respect to phi. And cyclic proof is a finite proof tree consists of the applications, case p, subst, and rules for the sequent characters and so on. And here is a simple example to prove the sequent EX or OX to NX. And we use the rules for the sequent calculus, case, and applications, and subst to make the set of but nodes and companions to make this finite proof tree. And here, one and 2.1.1 is a set of companions and but nodes, and 2 and 1.2.1.1 is also a set of companions and but nodes in this proof tree. And here is a theorem 
if there is a cyclic proof for the sequent, then we can say that the sequent is valid with respect to phi. Then we are going to talking about transformation from inductive definition sets and sequence to TRS. First, for the term coding of sequence, we transformed the sequence and shows in this page. And here we should note it that in the sequent mark we transform into sec gamma and delta and for the gamma because all the formulas f1 to fn have to be true thus we use this end to connect them but for the delta only at least one is to be true so we connect them by or. Here is the example, the sequence we have seen before is transformed into sec or ex ox and nx. According to our paper last year, to transform an inductive definition set phi into a TRS R phi and uh, generate the rules for the covariance of R phi. TRS R phi consists of RPL, a TRS for logical connectives, and R phi transformed from the inductive definition set, and the rewrite rules for the covariance of R phi. And see the same example, the inductive definition set phi 1 is transformed into the TRS R1 consists of RPN and R51 and here O0 to force is the right rules for the Kobadan O0 and here R sec which is different from the paper we separate the rules for sec from RPN and define a new TRS R sec the TRS R sec is defined as the following. Different from our paper, we use top, bottom, and this mark of end. Then we can have the following theorem. R union R sec is confront and GC terminating. The sequent gamma and delta is valid with respect to phi if and only if the corresponding equation sec gamma and delta equals top is an inductive theorem of R union R sec. Finally, I'd like to introduce the transformation of cyclic proofs into the writing induction proofs. We basically follow the following principles. Each inference in a cyclic proof is transformed into one or more RI steps and we start with the root epsilon and uh, proceed step by step and each RI step except for delete requires a rewrite rule and now we have another problem in this example we have a rule for the sequent calculus called or L. But now we still don't have the right rule for the or L. So our problem is that no sequent calculus rule has been transformed into a right rule. So we have to transform the sequent calculus rules into the right rules. Now we only consider these three sequent calculus rules, action or L and and R. They are transformed into the TRS R S C R. Let's see or L as an example. Here we use this mark of and to indicate that all the sequence should be true. Here rules in R S C R are inductive theorems of R union R sec. Then we can have this theorem. 
if the equation sec s t equals top is an inductive theorem of r union r sec union r s c r, then this equation is also an inductive theorem of r union r sec. According to this theorem, for the writing induction proofs, r union r sec union r s c r may be used instead of r union r sec. Then we can transform the cyclic proof into the RI proof. We start with the root and transform the nodes into RI steps step by step. Each inference rules transformed by the correspondence in the following table. During the transformation, equations for the companions are added to H as we write rules at expand. And equations for the bud nodes are deleted by the added rules at simplify and delete. Here is an example of our transformation. We started at the root epsilon. We transform it into the equation sec or ex ox and x equals top. The first step is ORL. Since we have added the TRS RSCR, we can directly simplify it and postulate. Here, by the fact that both 1 and 2 can be proved, then the epsilon can also be proved. Such a deletion rule has been proved, so here we first delete the epsilon. The next step is case E and case O. So we expand twice and added the companions sec ex and x to top and sec ox and x to top to the trs. Here for the copatan O0, although it didn't show in the cyclic proofs, in RI proof, we have to simplify it and delete it. Here is the application for the leaves. So we simplify several times into the equation top equals top and delete it. And here for the applications for the inner nodes, we just simplify once. For the subst, we generalize it. And here for the bud nodes, we simplify by the added rows in H and delete the equation top equals top. Similarly, at right side, we simplify it and uh, generalize. Finally, for the bud node, we also simplify it and delete it. We have this empty set. It means that our proof is finished and the equation is proved successfully. For the above transformation, we have the formulation. For a cyclic proof P with the root V0, transformation T phi P equals T phi V S V0 equals top and empty set. The detailed definition of the transformation is only shown here due to the time. Then we can have this lemma for a cyclic proof P of the sequence f and f prime. The transformation T phi P is an writing induction proof of the corresponding equation sec f f prime equals top. According to this lemma, we can have our main result is that for a cyclic proof of the sequence f and f prime, there exists a writing induction proof of the corresponding equation sec f f prime equals top. Finally, for the conclusion, our result in this paper is that under the assumptions a1 to a10, we transform the axiom 
or add an and R into rewrite rules RSCR, such that an inductive theorem of R union R SCR is an inductive theorem of R. And we also transformed a cyclic proof of a sequence into an rewriting induction proof of the corresponding equation. For the future work, we will relax the assumptions A1 to A10 as much as possible. And we will also consider to transform the rewriting induction proofs into the cyclic proofs. That is all of my presentation. Thank you for your listening.